Edson Aranches do Nascimento Brazilian Portuguese, so W. Artis do Nascimento born October 23, 1940, known as Pele Portuguese pronunciation, PL, is a Brazilian former professional footballer who played as a forward. Regarded as one of the greatest players of all time, and labeled the greatest by FIFA, when he was among the most successful and popular sports figures of the 20th century. In 1999 he was named Athlete of the Century by the International Olympic Committee and was included in the time list of the 100 most important people of the 20th century. In 2000, Pele was voted World Player of the Century by the International Federation of Football History Statistics SIT, and was one of the two joint winners of the FIFA Player of the Century. His 1,279 goals in 1,363 games, which includes friendlies, is recognized as a Guinness World Record. Two Pele began playing for Santos at age 15 and the Brazil national team at 16. During his international career, he won three FIFA World Cups, 1958, 1962 and 1970, the only player to do so. Pele is the all-time leading goal scorer for Brazil with 77 goals in 92 games. At club level he is Santos' all-time top goal scorer with 643 goals from 659 games. Three in a golden era for Santos, he led the club to the 1962 and 1963 Copa Libertadores, and to the 1962 and 1963 Intercontinental Cup. Credited with connecting the phrase the beautiful game with football, Pele's electrifying play and penchant for spectacular goals made him a star around the world, and his teams toured internationally in order to take full advantage of his popularity. For during his playing days, Pele was for a period the best paid athlete in the world. Since retiring in 1977, Pele has been a worldwide ambassador for football and has made many acting and commercial ventures. In 2010, he was named the honorary president of the New York Cosmos. Averaging almost a goal per game throughout his career, Pele was adept at striking the ball with either foot in addition to anticipating his opponent's movements on the field. While predominantly a striker, he could also drop deep and take on a playmaking role, providing assists with his vision and passing ability, and he would also use his dribbling skills to go past opponents. In Brazil, he is hailed as a national hero for his accomplishments in football and for his outspoken supportive policies that improve the social conditions of the poor. His emergence at the 1958 World Cup where he became the first black global sporting star was a source of inspiration. Five throughout his career and in his retirement, Pele received several individual and team awards for his performance in the field, his record-breaking achievements, and legacy in the sport. Pele was born at Sinaranches do Nascimento on October 23, 1940, in Tres Corazones, Minas Gerais, Brazil, the son of Fluminense footballer Don Gino Borjo Ramos do Nascimento and Celeste Taranchis. He was the elder of two siblings. Six he was named after the American inventor Thomas Edison. Seven his parents decided to remove the I and call him Edson, but there was a mistake on the birth certificate, leading many documents to show his name as Edison, not Edson as he is called. 7-8 he was originally nicknamed Eco by his family. 6-9 he received the nickname Pele during his school days, when it is claimed he was given it because of his pronunciation of the name of his favorite player, local Vasco da Gama goalkeeper Belay, which he misspoke but the more he complained the more it stuck. In his autobiography, Pele stated he had no idea what the name means, nor did his old friends. 6 apart from the assertion that the name is derived from that of Belay, and that it is Hebrew for miracle. The word has no known meaning in Portuguese. Note 110 Pele grew up in poverty in Bauru in the state of Sao Paulo. He earned extra money by working in tea shops as a servant. Taught to play by his father, he could not afford a proper football and usually played with either a sock stuffed with newspaper and tied with a string or a grapefruit. 11 6 He played for several amateur teams in his youth, including Seta Setempro, Canto do Rio, Sao Paulinho, and Amariquinha. 12 Pele led Bauru Athletic Club juniors coached by Valdemar de Brito to two Sao Paulo State Youth Championships. 13 In his mid-teens, he played for an indoor football team called Radium. Indoor football had just become popular in Bauru when Pele began playing it. He was part of the first futsal indoor football competition in the region. Pele and his team won the first championship and several others. 14 According to Pele, Futsal indoor football presented difficult challenges he said it was a lot quicker than football on the grass and that players were required to think faster because everyone is close to each other in the pitch. Pele credits futsal for helping him think better on the spot. In addition, futsal allowed him to play with adults when he was about 14 years old. 
In one of the tournaments he participated, he was initially considered too young to play, but eventually went on to end up top scorer with 14 or 15 goals. That gave me a lot of confidence, Pele said, I knew then not to be afraid of whatever might come. 14. Style of play Pele has also been known for connecting the phrase the beautiful game with football. 93 A prolific goal scorer, he was known for his ability to anticipate opponents in the area and finish off chances with an accurate and powerful shot with either foot. 494-95 Pele was also a hard-working team player, and a complete forward, with exceptional vision and intelligence, who was recognized for his precise passing and ability to link up with teammates and provide them with assists. 96-97-98 In his early career, he played in a variety of attacking positions. Although he usually operated inside the penalty area as a main striker or center forward, his wide range of skills also allowed him to play in a more withdrawn role as an inside forward or second striker, or out wide. 82-96-99 In his later career, he took on more of a deeper playmaking role behind the strikers, often functioning as an attacking midfielder. 100-101 Pele's unique playing style combined speed, creativity, and technical skill with physical power, stamina, and athleticism. His excellent technique, balance, flair, agility, and dribbling skills enabled him to beat opponents with the ball and frequently saw him use sudden changes of direction and elaborate feints in order to get past players, such as his trademark move, the dribble de Baca. 82-99-102 Another one of his signature moves was the paradinia, or little stop. Note 3-103 Despite his relatively small stature, 1. 73 meters 5 feet 8 in, 104 he excelled in the air, due to his heading accuracy, timing, and elevation. 94-97-102-105 Renowned for his bending shots, he was also an accurate free-kick taker, and penalty taker, although he often refrained from taking penalties, stating that he believed it to be a cowardly way to score. 106-107 Paley was also known to be a fair and highly influential player, who stood out for his charismatic leadership and sportsmanship on the pitch. His warm embrace of Bobby Moore following the Brazil vs England game at the 1970 World Cup is viewed as the embodiment of sportsmanship, with the New York Times stating the image captured the respect that two great players had for each other. As they exchanged jerseys, touches and looks, the sportsmanship between them is all in the image. No gloating, no fist pumping from Pele. No despair, no defeatism from Bobby Moore. 108 Pele also earned a reputation for often being a decisive player for his teams, due to his tendency to score crucial goals in important matches. 109 110 111, 